So how's it going guys, Equal here. Um, I am just about to uh, do my week four ITC match with uh, Core Dog and his Pittsburgh Empoleons. Um, let's see if Showdown will work for me this time. It will. Um, I just thought that before we did the battle, I'd run through the team real quick. So we have this, Medi this uh, Mega Medicham, max attack, max speed. Fake out Ice Punch, Brain Punch, and Bullet Punch. This uh, Rough Skin, Rocky Helmet, Drodagon. Um, with Pursuit and Rocks. This standard Talon Flame. Uh, with leftovers. Ch uh, Choice Scarf, Ditto. Especially defensive Mew with Thunder Wave, Defog, Knock Off, and Heal about and his Keldeo, which is Life or Calm Mind. Um, and Showdown is being stupid bad right now. The servers are being absolutely trash, so we will see um, what to do. He is running the Charizard X. I was tempted to run Choice Guard Rodigon to kill the Curum and the Zard, but ultimately decided against it because of Dragon Dance. So he's going to lead with the Empoleon, perhaps, or the uh, Jolteon. So potentially the best move to make is to lead with Mew or Drudigon just to. Uh, get rocks, but I think we'll leave with Mew to soak up any hits. We do have Defog on this Mew, I think. Uh, we do, which is amazing. He leads with the uh, Jolteon, which is fine, which is absolutely fine. We are specially defensive, so we should be able to take anything. So I can go ahead and go for the knockoff here, which is not a problem. He goes for Toxic, we have Heal Bell, and he gets Toxic as well, so that's fine. Um, and we get to knock off those leftovers right there. And I'm going to go for the heal bar straight away, I think. I don't see a problem with that. He's going to Volt Switch, I'm assuming. I hope that he does. I would quite like it if he did. Um, but we can only hope in these situations. So if he goes for the Thunder, which we eat naturally. Um, I don't really have a very good switch into this thing because this thing is physically defensive, not specially defensive. Um, and I don't want to reveal that my only offensive move is knockoff right now. So what I can do is I can go into this ditto, put it in the thunder. Um, and then get the Volt Absorb, so he won't be able to damage us. So we can hope that that is what he's going to do. He might just Toxic again, and if he does, we have the Heal Bell in the back, so it's not the end of the world. He goes for Volt Switch, so we can absorb that. And we get to see what set this thing is running. So it's running Toxic, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, and Thunder. Now I know that Core Dog is a little bit... He has strange sets, to, to put it lightly. Um, he ran Seismic, Toss, Hitmonlee one, one week, and... Uh, berries on everything so a little bit a little bit confused um, but we know that he has Volt Absorb so honestly I think Mew is the only play to make it's either Mew or Drudigon um, but I think Mew is the better play so that we can just soak up those hits a little bit better I know that Drudigon is resisted but you know Um, because we're Scarf, we would we would go first, and I can't touch this, it's already toxic, so. And if he wants to toxic here, he does, we can heal about that right off. Which is great. That's nice, and then toxic will take him out next turn. Which is amazing. So we can heal about here. Which is, this is one of the great things about Mew. So this Jolteon is dead. Uh, he'll just take one turn of freaking toxic to uh, to die if he comes back in, if he swaps out and comes back in later. But uh, he's dead now, which is great. So that's Jolteon down, which is amazing. Which is really, 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 really good. Because um, that kind of stopped Keldeo from doing anything, but now nothing really does. Because we know it's Megazard X. Um, not Mega Gardevoir. 
So Calio is really looking good for us this week. As is the Mega Medicham. We didn't want anything else speeding us, and now it, it, it doesn't, so. He goes out into the Empoleon. Um, I'm trying to think of why. I'd quite like to knock off this thing's leftovers, to be honest, so I'm happy to just stay in a knockoff. This is one of the great things about Mew, is that it's particularly versatile. So, we can stay and we can knock off and we can, we can do the work. He might be a berry, he might be Culver Berry, because of our Mega Medicham. He's with Canberry. So he goes for the Flash Cannon, that's fine. And if he's going for Flash Cannon, then that actually gives us the perfect opportunity to swap out into Zen. Which is a name that I came up with in five minutes, but it suits him. It's, it's, it's a Mega Medicham. Um, he goes for the Stealth Rocks. Absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. So we can just make evolve here and get the fake out off. Um, which we could. If he swaps out into the Mega Gardevoir, I think we kill the Bullet Punch next turn. Not the Mega Gardevoir, just the regular Gardevoir. I think we kill the Bullet Punch next turn, which would be great. Um, otherwise, we can Drain Punch. We can just Drain Punch. I think I ran a Bullet Punch over Poison Jab on this thing. Specifically for if it was Scarf. Uh, yeah, we have Bullet Punch, Fake Out, Ice Punch, and Drain Punch. So he stays in. I want to calc real quick just how much a uh, Mega Medicham. Mega Medicham. Uh, all out attacker. Versus an Empoleon, which is physically defensive. We'll say Max. And Bold. His Rain Punch should kill, right? Yeah, easy. Easy mode. Bye bye! There goes the Empoleon. So we're taking the lead very early on. Which is nice. And to be honest, he doesn't really have a switch into this. I suppose his only like real switch in is the Gardevoir, and we can two hit KO that with a bullet punch, I think. Um actually I'm gonna count that really 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 quick. So if we get rid of Zen Headbooks, we don't have that, and then put a bullet punch on there. But it's a Gardevoir. Call it OU Wallbreaker. We we two hit KO and he can't kill me. If he's max special attack. Because I'm just this thing. I'm trying to figure out why. Um, if he's max special attack, modest. Yeah, he can't kill me. I had to count this hit on Lee because I'm pretty sure that we kill this unless it's choice scarf. We still kill it. I'm gonna go for the drain punch then. I have no reason not to. If it's Choice Scarf, we're going to take a bit of damage, but he won't kill us. But I'm perfectly happy to just sit here and Drain Punch. Hit on these defense is terrible. So we can do that. The question is... You... This is the good thing about our matchups. Uh, he goes out into this thing. Which, is it Leftovers? It is Leftovers. So... Let's go to the guard. The guard of what? Oh, you will break out. I said bullet punch did anywhere between 72 and 86%. I'd rather not risk that right now. So we can go into, uh, into this thing or this thing. I think. I think Ditto is, is the best play here. Because Gardevoir's got decent special D anyway. Let's do that. Let's do that. And I need to keep Ditto alive, just in case the Charizard wants to set up Dragon Dances. Um, that's what we need to... That's what we need to worry about. But this is Leftovers, so it's probably got a little bit of HP investment. So we have to be wary of that. Uh, I guess we're Toxic. But we have synchronized. So yeah. And that is freaking perfect. Because now Bullet Punch is gonna 
it's going to be in more of a, of a range for that. Uh, but that's an interesting set. It's got a Wish, so it is it is uh, HP invested. Is what it's saying to me. I think I just want a Moonblast here. With Scar, so we can go first. All that I want to do here is put it in range of a Bullet Punch. This is the only thing that I wanted to that I want to do because then we can we can kill it and we can basically sweep him with our Mega Medicham. So he goes for the moon blast, for the moon blast, which is fine. I want to save this. So, um, how much did the moon blast do? It did thirty-six percent to him. Um, so let's go into Mew and try and soak it up a little bit more because um, we do have speed and then maybe we'll get a heal bell or a knock off off but I think he'll kill us okay that's fine um, I would very much like to T-wave here so I'm going to so I'm going to do that you have to think in, terms in the long term it's for free shock Power Hub Free Shock, alright. So we lose the Mew, but that's fine because I'm pretty sure that we kill everything else from now on, so... Um, I'm going to go for the Fake Out just in case he wants to swap. But I'm pretty sure that, uh, that we can deal with most of the things on his team. I'm a little bit worried about Mega Charizard X. I don't know its stats off the top of my head. Mega Charizard X... Dragon Dance. Uh, it's got decent defense, so we can't. He'll kill us with a Flare Blitz, but like. Grain Punch does 60 to 75%, more or less, so we'll get at least 30% HP back. Which is nice. And like I say, if he wants to Dragon Dance, then um, that's fine. But this this thing outsped our Mew, so it's max speed. Um, so that's good to know. It's not a bulky kind of set. So, good stuff. Uh, he stayed in here, so he's willing to sack it. He's willing to sack it. So Drain Punch it is. And if he swaps out into the Charizard, that's even better because we'll get some nice damage off on it to start off with and then, and then a, um, a Drain Punch will, will kill from the next turn. So this thing goes down. Lovely. Lovely. And if he wants to send in the Charizard here, he does. Uh, there are two things we can do here. We can swap out into Drodagon or into the Ditto. I'm going to go into Drodagon. I'm going to go into Drodagon, and I imagine he'll try and set up. He doesn't, he will-o-wisps. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. We can put up rocks here. Which I think is the right play. To try and get this thing down to a point where a drain punch and a fake out will kill. Um, so that's what, we'll, that's what we'll do. And if he wants to attack us, then he's taking... Recoil damage, uh, and then Rocky Helmet Ruskin. So, we're, we're looking good here. We get that record from, I think we've got a 3-0 and a 6-0 the last two weeks. To uh, we'll get a win on there, which would be nice. Goes to the Dragon Claw, fine, absolutely fine. Taking a hell of a lot of damage, and then there's nothing else that we need to do. Just go into Zen and clean up. And we clean up, and that's that, and that's good. I'm going to fake out anyway, just to be sure. Uh, but it's looking great for us. So, that's good. That's something. The showdown is not it's not being nice today. The servers are, must be... I don't know, like... Completely overloaded, because this is taking... Oh, um, I've been disconnected. <laughs> Come on. 
come on, man. The replay isn't to be found. Bugger. Okay, I, I will be back. Alright, so, we are back, and I've been speaking to Cordog, and we have agreed to just call it a 4-0. Showdown has been, um, not working for anyone the past, like, hour or so. <clears throat> so, um, we decided that we call it there, and say it was a 4-0, um, because obviously I have the recording so I can prove that we were going, to, I was going to win, um, by sending in Mega, by sending in Mega Medicham, and then just drain punching and bullet punching and whatnot. Um, so we just decided to call it 4-0. Um, so that makes my team North Dwarf Reigns. We are now 1-2 uh, instead of 0-3. Uh, uh, so, you know, that's good. That's a good way to, to kick off my run on the season. So, yeah. Uh, it kind of sucks that we were kicked out, but, you know, what can you do? So I'm going to wrap up the episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry it was a little bit iffy. Um, but thank you guys. And I'll talk to you later.